Look, I think, I think that there's an effort to try and, and help. Uh, the scale of the problem is massive. The need is enormous and the speed at which things, to, things need to move to help people who, who literally cannot feed their families or cannot pay the rent this month is, is the scale of this problem is really, really worrying. So I think that there's an effort to do something, um, but I suppose what, what I'm also interested in is what do we do to stimulate uh, the art sector after? So there's some attempt um, and from a lot of different angles to try and help artists in this immense and intense time of need, but also what are we gonna do to kickstart ourselves again after? How are we going to get audiences who are reluctant to travel back to, to live festivals? How are we gonna get audiences who may not want to be in a theater with 500 other people back to, to participate in our, in our work? So I think that there's a lot of work to do. I think that there are a lot of folks out there thinking about it, wondering how to do it, um, making efforts to think about how the government supported packages can, can assist. Business Arts South Africa working with um, its corporate members to see what they can do. But we're going to need a plan um, and we're going to need it quickly. And, I, and I'm really hoping that that emerges in the next couple of weeks. That begins to say, all right, we can stop our squabbling um, and, and join together in a plan that really brings the arts forward in a new way, in a different way, and makes it an, an arts for all experience.